Good morning, everyone. Out in the garden. Trying to overcome all the mud. It's so muddy I can't do any hoe work right now. And this rain has caused the weeds to explode. It's all over the place. God, the weeds. And I tried tilling, or uh, hoeing, but it's too muddy. Mm, hoof print. Hoof print. Hmm. Even with my four big-ass dogs, is deer still coming in my garden? Hmm. I really don't want to put fencing up. Really don't. But I'm running out of ideas. I have used coyote urine. I've used like real dog urine. I've used real dogs. I've used diet diatinaceous earth. That was supposed to it's not like a deer repellent, but they don't like it on the vegetables when they eat it. That didn't work. Oh, man, I think I'm going to have to put a damn fence around this garden. Can't keep finding hoof prints. Let's go check the tomatoes out. It's been good lately back here. They haven't eaten too much, actually. That's why I, was like, I thought the dogs were working. But I might have been wrong. Ooh, look at those. Those are coming up good. I got to trellis those today. I got a bunch of trellises I'm going to put up for all those zucchinis and squashes. See, like, you could see where they've picked off a few. There's a couple there that are missing, a couple here that are missing, here, here, over there. But those happened before I brought the dogs here. So I haven't seen anything really eaten since the dogs. See, like, none of these are topped. These have all their tops. Even these babies got their... There's one that was topped. But that's an old wound. If you look at that, that's an older wound. Mm. So, I think uh, I've been looking into motion censored sprinklers. And I think if I set one up over here and I set one up over by that far corner stake right there, I think if any deer come across, I think that'll scare them away. Because, like, even my corn, they haven't really touched a whole lot of it, but every now and again, right there, see, they go munching. So I might have to, I don't know what's better, a fence, they could jump that, or a sprinkler, which would just scare them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That was munched on right there. Look at that. That one became a deer dinner. So they're not going in my corn. That's a plus. They're staying along the edge. But that son of a bitch walked right through my cabbage. Hmm. Look at that. I've been waiting. Those are that last bunch of pie pumpkins coming up. And they are coming up. Nice. Good deal. Oh, yeah. See? Look at that little guy. Right there. He's starting to pop. Oh, yeah. These are those sugar pie pumpkins. Great for pumpkin pies. Oh, yeah. 
And I forgot which row. I got to double check my list. But I got tons of watermelon, tons of pumpkin coming. But that's today's update. Those pesky deer are at it again. So give me some pointers, you fellow farmers out there. What are you all doing for your deer? I don't think the, the little Irish spring method will work. I need bigger tools. Fill me in, y'all. Later, guys.